Hi, welcome to the video. It's about dual booting and it's about this new option that we have in Calamaris Intel U code. So normally we would not install it unless you do it yourself later after the clean installation, you decide to sudo pacman minus s Intel U code or AMD U code. So now you can decide to put it straight away from Calamaris, but there is a but. If you are intending to do a dual boot, for instance, you want to say, okay, I'm going to go for, um, let's get cheap parted with it. So it's graphical. You have a hard disk and you are going to divide the hard disk into two pieces. You decide, okay, what if I get in the first partition at Linux, XFC open box i3 and the other partition I'm going to use at Linux D and then start building up XFCE or Openbox or i3 or in the second partition will be an Arclinux B. And then you can always switch between these two. Now, that's great, that's fine. But if, and that's a big if, if you install this Intel U-code thing, you run into issues. That's a reported um, uh, bug on archlinux.org. And here's the solution. So, first of all, I have just one operating system. That's still my preference, always is. But it would be a good idea to split it in two and actually learn and, and just watch over uh, the other one, the other partition and boot it up from there and see what elements, what configurations did we put in it and then go back to Arclinux D for instance and try to figure out. It's a great puzzle, it's like a detective. So in that case I said, right, do dual boot, but only and this only concerns people who have in this Intel U-code or AMD U-code installed. Only these people should watch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fake, well, gonna do it in a virtual drive, in a virtual box. I'm gonna tell to the system, let's make that a little bit faster. Don't have time to wait. And I boot it back up. But I'm booting up, not from the hard disk, but I'm booting up from the USB again. And I'm gonna partition the one that I have now into two pieces. And I'm gonna install again Arch Linux. Uh, doesn't matter if we do Arch Linux D or B or Arch Linux itself, it's just uh, an exercise. Calamaris is the same. I'll just divide it into two pieces. I skip all the niceties, just quick view that this is the number. You know what all this does. You have another video to watch that. So if you say, yeah, I do want to have Intel Q code, this is the thing, I want to have it as well on the second partition. And then we go for Brussels, next, Belgium, next. And then here it comes. This is your current hard disk. Normally you would say, and my recommendation as always is get rid of everything and just one thing and have fun and learn and enjoy. But in this case, the scenario is not bad. Having Arch Linux on one side and Arch Linux D on the other one and then start running in the black screen and install that way. So then we select this one, install alongside, click here, click here, next. You can of course adjust the slider if you want to, like so. Okay, next. And off we go. This is the most, uh, well, resizing is critical, but the most critical part is uh, in Calamaris is our uh, partitions. When he's going to a phase where he's going to say, this is partition A and the B and the C, that's, that's the critical thing. When it says filling up, then you're past the critical thing. Now, Calamaris is documented. I should mention it in every video I make. Calamaris is mentioned in here it goes, that's the critical one, and now it's finished. So the filling up file systems, you're in the safe, you're in the clear, you've passed the most important hurdle, that's the partitioning. Now, we have documented everything you need to know about Calamaris on this link here. On the website, I've put here, learn about Calamaris. There's one big, uh, well, um, article with 30 videos all around about encrypting, about dual booting, about three, four, five partitions. We've done it all and it's all documented on 
this page. So have fun playing around with that. So that's an important page. Another page I would like to point you because it's new. That's the article links fast track, and I've just added uh, something about uh, key ring key keys and the Pacman key. So the idea is to make this the most concentrated page ever created for Arch Linux slash Arch Linux. Everything you need to know is going to go on here. Of course, I know I don't have the place, but I always point to the articles themselves. So if you have a bias, if you want to know more about bias, it's here. If you want to know more, know more about NVIDIA, it's all here. So stuff, it's a con concentrated way to, to know what do I need to know on my system. All right, let's wait now for the installation to finish and continue with our fix. This only concerns, I cannot uh, stress it enough, people who are dual booting and are using Intel or AMD U-code. All right, we can restart. Done, we say. And well, of course, um, the ISO is still in there. So I need to navigate to this one and I'll boot up. So this is what's the problem. The problem, well, there is no problem. You never lose any data, no problem. So that's 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 safe. But there is a but. Um, this one is gonna work. The top is gonna work. The last one always works. Then the one that's called fallback is always gonna work. So the fallback is great. Works too. But the problem is all the rest. So the first one is gonna work. Let's boot up. First one is actually the second partition. Remember, it's a bit strange, but the, the one that's last is on top in Grub. Let's have a look at the file system. In boot, we have the Intel U code. Okay, check. Then we are going to restart. I actually better get rid of my ISO. So my ISO needs to go and there you go. It's out of here. And then I'll boot up again. So you see immediately the grub. So this one, we've tested this one, that one works. It's this one that's the problem. So the first partition you created SDA one, we boot up in this one and then we get this nice, beautiful kernel panic not syncing, etc. And then you say, wow, this is gibberish. What is this? Control R or reboot, uh, hard reboot in this case, but in VirtualBox, it's a right control and an R and we reset, we reboot. And then we need to fix this one, right? That's the one that's wrong. And this one is wrong. That one is wrong. And this one will work. Now we go to the top. So this one works. Go to Arch Linux, the first line, you'll boot up into it. And now we go into the fix. How do we fix this? The idea is that Control Shift Enter, we go to your root. That's actually from my plasma, you see. Well, I need to go inside the window. <laughs> Super Shift Enter. And in File System, Boot, Grub, this one is wrong. So the, the, the bug was reported on archlinux.org, but at this point in time, and they have not fixed it. So we have to do something manually if we want to dual boot and if we have Intel AMD U code, otherwise we don't have to do anything. So open folder as root is needed. We want to write in there. We need to write in there. Grub configuration file. They say, do not edit this file. Trust me, you need to edit this file. And then we go down here. So you might, that's a good thing maybe to explain as well. Another hold back information, you know that, which might complex make things more complex, but okay, it gives you a better overview. In the grub D, we have these numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40. And in this line, we have here also these numbers, 00, zero header, 10 Linux. Oh, look at that. So they correspond. 
Now the thing where it goes wrong, and that's what's reported on the Git, um, the bug report there on Arch Linux, is number 30. If you do a boot, he should find uh, elements on your hard disk. And what happens is if only, so let's first take a look at a bigger screen. That's one thing. Okay, so remember the numbers, 10, 20, 30, right? So I'm looking for number 30. Here it is. This is the end of 30, so I need to scroll up. This is the beginning of 30. So you navigate to 30. Then you go have a look. And this line says just Intel you code. This one as well, just Intel you code. And why is the other one then booting? Number 10 is booting. This is beginning of 10. 10 is booting because it says, hey, it's a longer line. Copy. What it's doing, it's booting. It's, it knows it's there, but it also knows that in its RAM file system, Linux, dot image is there. And that's what's missing. That's the only thing you need to do is a copy paste. And I think everybody can do that. Just go in here, control V. This is now fixed because he shows one thing, but forgets the other one. So I do all this. The fallback is okay. You don't need to do anything. So the fallback you keep off. It's one, two, three, three changes. This one as well. Now we are set. Control S. We save this thing. And we do not update grub. If we update grub, we overwrite it again. We can do our work again. So this is our fix for the moment. If you dual boot and if you have Intel AMD U code, and let's boot up. Uh, shut down. Okay, like so then. And then I'll wake it up again with my virtual box and try number three and taking a sip of coffee. So booting here. It now finds the code, the init RAM of FS there, and we boot it up. And that's how you fix it. It's all in the boot, in the grab. This one needs to be edited. So open folder as root, whatever system you're in. Um, this is XFC, but you need to actually open this one. So if it's 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 terminal, and then it's terminal, right? So sudo nano, and then move to boot grub. You don't know how many times I've been typing this until I find the fix. So there you go. And then you navigate down and type whatever you're missing or copy paste as well. That's possible too. So there you go. That's the solution if you dual boot and keep want to keep using this Intel U code or AMD U code. All right. Cheers.